Hi folks, oh, welcome or welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys who are new here, my name is Mon. And I hope you guys don't mind the shadows. I have the overhead light on and uh, if I don't have it on, it's going to be dark. But because I have it on, the shadows are very... There. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all don't mind that. But um, this is going to be me talking about starting one book October, except this is not a book, it's a ring binder. This is also my first ever like six ring binder. That's exciting. Um, this is very much inspired by a lot of um, one book July videos that I watched, where the goal is to stick into stick with one book. And so a little background as to why I'm doing this. I have kind of changed my planning system in a way recently since I started like digitally planning, and that I like keeping my journal link and like my to-do list and stuff into one book. But because of that, and I, I'm someone who writes a lot, because I write a lot, um, the to-do list kind of just gets lost in the sea of pages. So with ring binders, I can separate the where my to-do lists are as well as all my journaling pages are, even though it's like in one space, whereas with like a stitch bound book or whatever, like I can't like gauge how many pages I would want like quote, reserve for to-do list and how many pages I want to use for journaling. Yeah, so I have never used a ring binder before, so this is a very experimental thing. Um, this was also initially supposed to be a journal with me video, except I lost two hours of footage. So <laughs> we're doing this flip through instead. Oh, to mention, I bought the binder as well as the paper on Shopee. I'll leave a link to those if I remember. Anyways, I have this Winnie the Pooh keychain at the front. I... I am really sorry if you guys hear that in the background. <laughs> but um, I have this Winnie the Pooh keychain in the back, uh, in, on this um, binder. I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so it's now in my binder. Winnie the Pooh is also my favorite character, so... Yeah. Um, this cover page is kinda simple. All the stickers I use here are from Daiso as well as the washi tape. Um, yeah, I just have October written on the front as well as um, the calendar. Um, the nice thing about grid binders is that if I choose to continue using this for the rest of the year or like, like next year, I can like change out the cover or like add a cover at the front and keep this as my October divider. Yeah. So back at this I just have one sticker. This is kind of like a grid spacing guide. I don't really use these but because the paper are like different sizes than what I'm used to, I have it here like my previous A6 journal is like yeah, the size of it is very different. These are these are a lot skinnier, and but a lot more taller. So I just have this here. It's seventeen grid space by thirty-two grid space. I don't count the like edge grids. So you know, if anyone wants to know the size of this, yeah, that's that's the grid spacing. Let me move on to the monthly calendar. So this is a very simple calendar. I don't really put a lot of things on here. It's more so of like an overview to see the things that are going on. The boxes are three boxes by four boxes, if anyone's interested in that. <laughs> and then we move on to the weekly section. So to kind of like explain the difference between this section as well as this section is that over here, I kind of would write more specific details. So if I have a lecture, on the calendar, I'll kind of write which dates I have to be on campus. Whereas over here, I would write like the time that I have the lecture at and which room it is at. Something like that. So these are like more detailed stuff. I used to do like a bi-weekly setup on my A5 bullet journal, which... Hold on, let me show you this. Like, this kind of a thing. And I know this works really well because it helps me like see things clearer. As opposed to like a monthly calendar. So I've done that here, except it's like 
one week per page because of how small the paper is and I've um, used like a scrap paper that was supposed to be a cover but I kind of messed up that cover so I'm currently using a scrap paper and I made like mini bookmarks so this bookmark is to mark which week I'm on so today is 27th September when I'm filming this so this is here and this layout is very basic Oh, to mention, the pen I used for like um, this as well as the calendar is a typo uh, marker pen. The days of the week are the purple myliner and the dates are Muji 0.38 pen. Over here, the days are the Muji 0.38 pen and the dates are Pentel Fury in black. The pentel for a touch, yeah. So this is just basic because this is gonna hold like more like details of my schedule and like other events in my life and stuff. Yeah, I will probably eventually decorate it once the week is over or whatever. And then we move on to the daily section. So this is kind of what I would probably be doing for the rest of the month. Where I'll be, it's kind of just like the bullet journal method. You know, so I just have this for every day that I do need a to-do list for, and I have a lot of empty pages at the back, and I'll just move them in front. And this bookmark is for the um, to-do list section, so I know where my to-do list is. And this was supposed to be an intro page, but I haven't written anything down yet. I just have my dot system here except I don't have it like what it is written out because I already know what it is this is very much inspired by Megan Rhiannon I hope I'm pronouncing her name right um yeah so like I mentioned I write a lot I'm constantly writing and this kind of helps me like divide up each text into the categories they fall under so if I look at a page it's not like an entire block of words and like if I have to search for something, I'm not, I don't have to read the whole thing. With the dot system, I can like tag each section that I'm writing and I can just look at the dots to kind of gauge what's on the page. Yeah, so that, that's this. <laughs> and this bookmark is for my daily journaling section. So wherever I am writing my journal pages, really. Yeah, that's, that's really the explanation I can give. Um, the rest of these are blank pages. So what I bought was this um, packet of grid paper. I bought two packets of them. Each packet had 45 papers. I put one entire packet here. And I'll just be taking papers from the back and moving them to where I need them to be. As for the purple paper, I got a packet of one packet and each packet has 40 papers this is also grid i'm not sure if you can tell it it's great on camera but yeah it is good so that is my current system i will eventually do a flip through at the end either the end of the month or like next month or something so yeah maybe in that video i'll have a better explanation for what actually happened in this ring binder but yeah that is actually it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post new videos every week. I don't have a set day that I post it, but I do post at 10 p.m. Singapore time. So yeah, while you wait for my next video, do check out my previous videos. I do have like a bullet journal flip through if anyone's interested. I'll leave that in the description box. And yeah, with that, hope to catch y'all in my next one. Bye!